Hi, Joe. Hello, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. So first of all, I'm very grateful that you're here. I wanted to use this opportunity to say you thank you for joining Erdens Academy and Erdens App family. That's my great. Pleasure. It's my pleasure. Uh, so it's always um, a tradition now that we are making some short interview with our um, top teachers um, to bring a little bit uh, closer the personality of you and other uh, superstars <laughs> to the viewers. So uh, the first question that of course everybody asks is how it started. What is the starting point of uh, your career? Okay. What was the idea? Oh, the idea was for me to just do what I love to do and like you a bit, I, I fell in love with the, like a virus, no? it infects you, you, you do it once and you cannot stop doing it. Am I talking there? Yeah. Not you. No, you're talking with <laughs> okay. us. Okay. So uh, yeah, it, it was more like I fell in love with the whole energy of the dancing and what it gives to the body, it's like a addiction, I mean I don't have an idea what addiction is like but yeah, the, the but spirit. Did you start like a small girl? What yes. was the age that you started to dance? Uh, I started with ballet and jazz when I was must have been five or six, but I always loved dancing. So I was dancing even before with my dad. I think when I could walk, I was already dancing with my dad. And uh, together, I loved the connection with another partner. I always yeah. did it with my dad. And then, but I, in Belgium, dancing, ballroom dancing and Latin was really not popular. So there was no, I didn't even know it existed, but I think I saw it once on TV. Like I saw one of the German competition and I was like, wow, this, this So your amazing. first comp, your first uh, really uh, competitive uh, um, uh, tournament, when was it? My first competition was in Belgium with my first little partner. We, we were small juveniles, I think 10 years old in Belgium, small. Like you have hundreds here, there you have probably five a year, and yeah. it was one of those small comps in Belgium. And yeah, so. And I how is going later? How is uh, then happening that? Uh, in which age did you you was the first time the world champion? Eighteen. Eighteen. So very young. Yes, I mean. And was I, with Slavic. Yeah, I had uh, that dream since I saw the whole thing, and I I knew what the competition was all about, and. I saw Blackpool and all these charismatic and incredible dancers. I was like, wow, I want to be like that one day. So I had really that sort of vision that that was my ambition and dream. And I was really completely psyched into that direction. So how yeah. it's happened that uh, couples like you and Slavic at this moment, it, they are connected. It is um, parents that uh, try to do uh, find a partner for you. Um, how does it look from the other side? From Definitely also a... not my parents. No, no, no. It was more we met during a competition in Bulgaria. I remember, and we saw each other. And of course, he was uh, he caught my eyes. So I thought like, wow, I would love to dance with him. But at the time, we had separate partners. And then he split with his partner. I heard that he was having tryouts. I also happened to stop with my partner and then we just um, via some connections yeah. coach and everything. and then boom yeah the world so. champions amazing yeah, it was so quick. of course uh, i saw it you prepare for us for erdens this amazing program the preparation champion program yeah. but this is one side of the uh, of the mirror from the other side of the mirror there is a lot of work of course and of course a lot of uh, money that you needed to pay for all these uh, uh, lessons for yes. like a camps traveling and right. everything yes. so how was it in your um, family it was uh, somebody that help you like your fa uh, family because it yes. is you know always it, there is a, a lot of stories about uh, how it's happening that it's uh, uh, that it comes to this possibility that you are getting this world championships and so uh, what was uh, oh, the way definitely my thankfully my parents helped financially and we were definitely we paid a house to my coach <laughs> <laughs> we paid his mortgage, but in some ways we, uh, we all, I always had one coach, one person, so I wasn't, uh, so in that way it was actually quite productive and to the point, not going to too many teachers and actually it was a big success, but I, I know that that wasn't the case for many other yeah. dancers, so it was our our decision, my decision to really focus on one yeah. person because I've always been, it's my character to be loyal and to... So 
So that's why I now also had this vision with Roots. Verme, our coach, when I knew his work and I was coming also from the background of jazz, modern and ballet, so and Root was open to all of this. So I could feel like quite in relating quite close to his school of thought. Mm -hmm. So for me it was crucial that he would be the main engine yeah. and then I would follow his mentorship and go. And um, so there, in that way it was quite efficient. We were not losing time with being sidetracked by so many different styles and ideas. Yeah. So, so actually we are now in Warsaw in yeah. Erdens Academy, so we cannot miss this question, of course, that mm -hmm. one of your main partner and uh, many time world champion with you was Michael Malitowski. Mm -hmm. So Is how that? Sorry, <laughs> is he from here? I don't know him. <laughs> so, oh, okay. uh, so uh, before Michael, so Michael was uh, straight away after Slavic, or it was uh, um, mm. another partner in between? No, after Slavic, I danced. Or was it? Yeah, after Slavic, I danced with Louis, Louis okay. van Amstel. And after Slavic, I thought first because it was such a climax and such a great success in such a short time that. I really thought I will never dance again after okay. him. I was like, I probably should start table tennis or something <laughs> else. But then uh, Louis came and Louis asked me to dance with him. And Louis was actually my childhood idol. Okay. So I admired his dancing. And so yeah, when he asked me, it felt like a new energy for me and new experience. And I learned tremendously a lot. Yeah. Actually, before Louis, I had asked Sla um, Michael, Slavic Michael Louis, <laughs> Michael to dance with me, but he wasn't ready or something, or because no. he split with Ivona at the time, and then um, and then it's happening. Yeah, and it was for how many years? With Michael? Yeah, seventeen years. Seventeen years. Yes. Yeah, it's it's quite a a lot. Yeah, it's a chapter. <laughs> <laughs> it's a chapter. Okay. Um, my next question is, so actually you already answered it just a little bit. So if you will be not a dancer, what would be the plan B for you? If I was another person? Another no, dancer? let's say that your decision in the, this moment will be, uh, um, you will change your mind and you wanted to uh, live your life uh, in other way. So you, you, do you see uh, yourself in other um, role uh, in your life? Um, whew, that's a tough one. I mean, I don't have much, many regrets. I don't have any regrets. I love that, that dancing brought so much to my life and not only mentally, physically, uh, health-wise as well. So I'm grateful that I chose that, but probably something a little bit more, like in this current situation, something a little bit more tangible sometimes, like that you feel that you have a security because dancing can be quite... Yeah quite scary. Thankfully, we have you <laughs> to support us and Air Dance has been incredible with that. So we can rely on that. But yes, maybe in that way to have another skill to be a bit, a bit more multi-talented. Yeah. <laughs> that would be nice. And of course, you are also a mother. Yes. You've got an amazing girl, yeah. uh, Leah. Mm -hmm. So how is this experience for you, like, a, you know, a dancer, world champion, and now you are like a, a um, mother that is also all the time at home and mm -hmm. take care about your, your daughter. It's the best thing ever, for sure. It's like um, she gives me that security of earth and ground feeling and that joy and pure love. Like, I, yeah, it's incredible, that pure love that you feel and connection so this is amazing i miss her tremendously when i have to go of course you are um, also a teacher mm -hmm. so so a coach and you are you you teach a lot mm -hmm. uh, the new generation what will be your advice for them what they should do to be a champion and if there is any special let's say uh, mm, special tip or a special tricks that mm -hmm. you can tell well, them i think actually when i come here and feel the energy of everyone, everyone is on the right track. It feels like even in all the countries I've been after this break, it seems that everyone is a little bit more hungry yeah. and has this inner motivation and hunger and want and passion for the, for the stuff which I love. Because that's truly something that I also feel. And to see that even here in this group is incredible, it just keeps on growing 
So I would keep that, trust that this is working with you and the effort of the team. I think that's important and yeah. very good that you have that. And for each individual, maybe to find a bit more their own personal statement and growth of their direction, yeah. where they actually want to go and could be very different for everybody. It doesn't yeah. have to always be a goal orientated. It could be for yeah. other reasons, but, yeah, so great. but everyone's doing a great job. Great. Yeah, thank thank you. you very much. <laughs> I hope that uh, uh, you enjoy the time here in Warsaw yeah. with us and thank you'll you. be very often our guests. So thank you. See you then. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>